How do you do the drummers? It's me, Rob from drumsoftheword.com here, and in this video drum lesson, I want to teach you how to play the drums to the song Waterfall by the Stone Roses, drummed by Alan René Ren. Does he have any eyes? We don't know. We never see his eyes. Who knows if he has eyes? Then we go into this really distinctive drum beat. Now, the entire Rene's playing is is so swung; it's unbelievable. He, he, he can't. I don't think he can play a straight sixteenth note if he tried. Um, so the entire song is swung, drums especially. So instead of playing sixteenths like this, we can't kind of play them like this. Hear the difference? It's like instead of giving it a little bit of triplet lilt, a little bit of swing to it. So like I said, we're playing 16th notes on the hi-hat, swung of course. Bass drum is going to be playing throughout pretty much the entire song, apart from the breaks and stabs, four on the floor, simply meaning four beats, uh, uh, playing the bass drum on all four quarter notes. One and two and three and four and one, and a two and a three and a four and one, two, three, four, we're playing the, the pan pattern over the top. Right, left, 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 right, And the snare drum comes down on the uh of beat three, just before the bass drum on beat four, which gives it this weird sort of diddle. The snare drum back beat comes in just before the bass drum on beat four. One e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the. Right, left, left, right, left, left. Right, left, left, right, left, left. And that left hand's left hand's got to be quiet. If you can't play doubles at that speed, then you can play it right, left, right, left, right, left. If you're playing six notes, including the first note on the hi hat, one, two, three, four, five, six. But as written, we get one and two and a three e and a four and a two and a two and a three e and a four and a two and a three four and a two and a one and two, da da um, da um, uh, 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 ooh. Or a single strokes, one and two, and a three, e, and uh, 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 uh. However you want to play it. By the way, what I've, what I've discovered while playing this uh, uh, over the years of playing drums is that stuff like this is very natural for the drummer in question, really in this case, to be able to play because that's his style, because he's played lots of times, because that's the kind of feels he likes to play, because he's practiced these movements before. Trying to replicate another drummer's style of drum fills in particular is really difficult and I found this very tricky because Reddy is quite random with his drum fills. I don't think he's really planned any of them out and in fact when I watch him play it live uh, back in the day and nowadays it's never played exactly the same. He, he, he varies things up a lot. The groove tends to be the same but the fills are pretty much always different. Um, so uh, you know if, if you're playing on this this song then Get the basic groove going and don't worry too much about reading it note for note um, because uh, Randy doesn't. Uh, but you've got the chance if you want to. Here we go, try that bar again. <laughs> 